Hi everyone, today's story is a bit unusual. Imagine having an alligator as a pet. Now imagine that the alligator is 34 years old, 11 feet long, and weighs a whopping 750 pounds. That's the story of a recent situation in Hamburg, New York. This massive alligator named Albert was living in a custom-built pool right inside a man's home, but there's more to this tale. According to reports, the homeowner, 64-year-old Mr. Tony Cavallaro, allowed the children to swim with Albert. People came to visit him and even pet him. Now, this might sound fun, but alligators are wild animals. Even a seemingly tame gator can be unpredictable and pose a serious danger. Authorities say this kind of public interaction with alligators is actually illegal in New York. Thankfully, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation DEC, intervened. They seized Albert from the home. Apparently, Mr. Cavallaro's permit to keep Albert had expired in 2021, and the enclosure did not meet minimum safety standards. Moreover, the license does not allow possession of any dangerous animal as a pet. Sadly, upon examination, the authority also raised concerns about the alligator's health upon removal, noting possible blindness in both eyes and spinal issues. The alligator's owner, Mr. Caviero, is vowing to get the gator back, maintaining he cared for Albert for 34 years, and claims recent regulation changes caused the permit lapse. He says he tried to renew it but was unsuccessful. He also claimed that he took care of him better than most people take care of their kids. Visitors would only briefly get in the pool to pose with the animal, often when the alligator was sleeping. Moreover, the alligator was gentle and didn't pose any threat to the children who swam with him. However, state laws around exotic pet ownership are strict. There are permits required and public interaction with these dangerous animals is prohibited. So, what happens to Albert now? Well, wildlife officials are determining the best course of action for his care. Alligators are wild animals, and their instincts can be unpredictable, even for a seemingly tame pet. While owning a unique pet can be tempting, it's crucial to prioritize the animal's well-being and public safety. This story is a reminder that wild animals belong in the wild, and there are safety risks involved in keeping them as pets. In this case, they determined Albert needed to be relocated. Now, here's the twist. A wave of support has emerged for Albert. It seems the community is rallying behind Albert. A petition has surfaced, urging officials to return him to his original owner, Tony Cavallaro. Supporters claim Albert received excellent care for over 34 years and Cavallaro simply missed renewing a permit due to recent regulation changes. Many residents of Hamburg added that Albert was a gentle alligator who didn't pose a threat to the people and children he swam with. Cavallaro got Albert from a reptile show in 1990 when he was a two-month-old baby and calls him his son. I'm Albert's dad. That's all there is to it. He's like family to everyone, Tony claimed. A next-door neighbor described Albert as very calm, very gentle, saying, well, Albert is not getting out of where he lives. He has no reason to. He swims in the pool, lays on the pool deck, eats chicken, and doesn't bother anybody. He is not a danger and even takes pictures with kids. A petition to bring Albert home at change.org has over 114,000 signatures as of today. The DEC said that the ailing alligator was taken to a licensed caregiver who would care for him until he could be transported to a permanent facility. Albert's seizure has divided the internet. While some applaud the DEC for taking action for the betterment of the ailing alligator, others call for Albert to be returned home. So guys, what do you think about this story? Can a wild animal truly become a pet? Do you think the authorities have done the right job in seizing the wild and ailing animal? Or should Albert be returned home? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe for more such wild news. We'll keep you updated on Albert's future. This is your host Susie, signing off for tonight. Goodbye!